we're starting this off this video um, by defining something called a support. And so the support of a strategy, of some mixed strategy, is simply the pure strategies, the set of strategies uh, that are played with non-zero probability. So for example, if we had sigma r equals a half, zero, um, a quarter, a quarter, we would say that the support of sigma r is equal um, to uh, one, three, and four. Because all the others are played with probability zero. Building on top of that, we have another definition, which is the definition of what is called a degenerate game. And the main reason we need the definition of a degenerate game is because we're mostly not going to consider degenerate games. So we need to be able to know what they're called so that we can not worry about them anymore. Um, and a degenerate game is simply any game where a mixed strategy of support size k, so a mixed strategy that is playing k uh, pure strategies with some probabilities, has um, more than k pure best responses. So a simple example of that is if we have a equals 1, 1, 0, and 2, 3, 0. And if we consider sigma c to be equal to 0, 0, 1, we have that the support of sigma c is equal uh, to 3, so that the size of the support of sigma c is equal to 1, right? Because we just have the 1 non-zero thing um, here. And if we consider a sigma ct, so this is just going to be the utilities of um, all the pure strategies of the role player, we get 0, 0, right? Because we go 1, 1, 1, 0 times 0, 0, 1, and 2, 3, 0 times 0, 0, 1. So this simply means that there are two best responses to sigma c, um, which is simply if the opponent is playing 0, 0, 1, so we're always in this column, then the role player is best response. There's two of them. Um, so because there's two of them, two is bigger than one. This is what's called a degenerate.